am Dr. Suhajla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. IVF is a procedure that uh, is very scary for many patients when suggested because they think of uh, the discomfort caused by the injections, they think of uh, how scary it might be because it's a procedure you need to go to the hospital, maybe it's very invasive. So I wanted to bust some myths about it, throw some light on the whole procedure so that you get a sense of comfort. This is especially for women who are working who are thinking about not wanting to waste time, not wanting to compromise on their career, but yet are also interested in getting pregnant. So let's talk about the whole procedure. IVF involves giving you medications. Now there are two kinds of protocols in IVF, a long protocol and a short protocol. It's self-explanatory. A long protocol involves longer duration of medications, but a short one is very convenient and it's very effective. All over many, many laboratories and IVF centers, short protocol is what is given and it gives very good output in terms of number of eggs and number of embryos so let's talk about short protocol a short protocol usually is begun on the second day or the third day of your period on this day after a battery of blood tests and ultrasonography hormones are injected into your body these hormones are injectables they are either subcutaneous or intramuscular so the orders have to be specifically followed they are supposed to be kept under uh, cold storage so see to it that you maintain this if you were to take it home and uh, inject yourself so it's a very important factor these injections are given for about 10 to 12 days in some cases it might go beyond 12 days but if it is going for more than those days you have to understand that maybe your quality is not good or maybe your cycle will be abandoned as in IVF will not be you know uh, done for you because a quality is not good if you have taken stimulation or injections for too long so that goes on for about 10 days let us assume after 10 days on the 12th day your eggs are collected it is under anesthesia so it's not a procedure where your stomach is cut open sutures are poured, and you need to get admitted for three or four days it's a very simple procedure needle is passed into your ovaries eggs are taken out they're mixed with your husband's sperm or a, and for about three to five days your embryos are observed now these embryos can be transferred back into your uterus by two procedures one is a fresh embryo transfer or a frozen embryo transfer a fresh is when after three to five days of culturing in the laboratory the best looking embryo is transferred back into your uterus but if your uterus is mismatched if we are not happy with the way it's growing or you've gotten into something called as OHSS then a transfer is not planned in that cycle the embryos are frozen and the next month a frozen embryo transfer is done where you need not take as many injections because we don't need to get your eggs out your embryos are already ready they are put back into your uterus so it's a very simple procedure if we were to look at the timeline a short protocol from the beginning of your cycle to removal of your eggs takes about 12 days if you were to transfer them then it takes about 15 to 16 days otherwise uh, only 12 days because eggs are given and then we freeze the embryos if it is a frozen embryo transfer then the next month only your endometrium is prepared if you want to understand more about this if you want to understand what uh, protocol will work best for you please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you